Hi guys, it's me again. So listen, I loved seeing you all this week during our Zoom meetings. It was just so great to see your faces. I miss you all, but I'm delighted that you're all creating at home until we can be together again. Um, so for today, I just wanted to show you a new thing in case you want to try something origami-ish. <laughs> so this is an origami flower. And Marin from Miss Lem's class actually inspired me because she has been creating some beautiful origami with her mum at home. And it reminded me how much I used to love making these when I was little. So I want to show you how to create these origami flowers. So origami is a Japanese art form. Ori means folding and kami means paper. So it's folding paper. So all you're going to need for this project, interestingly, is paper. <laughs> so you're going to need some paper. You will need money. And this is to help us measure because this is the perfect size for the, um, the paper I need you to fold with. So I thought that might be an easy way for you to measure it. Little ones, the older grades, you guys can measure it with a ruler. It's six by three, six inches by three inches. Okay. Uh, so paper, you will need something to color your paper with, Sharpies, markers, crayons, paint, whatever you like. Um, some buttons if you have them. No big deal if you don't. We can use a bead. You can use the recipe that I gave you for homemade clay and actually make a button or make a bead. Um, or a piece of crushed up tin foil, anything that will form the center of the flower. So get creative with that. I use buttons. Um, and then some wire. I don't expect you guys to have crafting wire at home, but you might have a zip tie from a package or a paper clip that will also work. All right, so go gather those things, paper, money or a ruler, something to color with, some form of wire and a button, and then meet me down here. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to cut a rectangle out of our piece of paper. Um, you can use the money, as I said, as a guide for how large your rectangle should be, six by three approximately. So once you have it measured out, oops, um, cut out your rectangle like so, and simply decorate both sides of it, guys. So definitely do both sides because with origami, we're going to be folding this paper um, so both sides will be showing. So you get your piece of paper, and now I would like you to decorate it any way you wish. You are the artists. You can do like a striped pattern, like so. You can do polka dots, like I did on this one. Or you can do something like this. I just used some red and gold paint. Just honestly, I just slathered it on to see how it would look. And I just like the way the gold kind of shimmers in amongst the red. So I'm going to create an origami flower using this paper. You guys can do whatever decorations you want on yours. So the first step, let's use this one. This is the important part, the origami, the folding of paper. So watch very carefully and follow along. The first step is about the size of my little finger. So a little bit larger than your little fingers. I'm going to lay it down like this and I want to fold that much in. So watch this. I'm simply going to fold like so. So I have folded about the width of my little finger in. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. And to make a nice fold, I am pressing down at the folded part with my nail or my finger. I now have two equal folds on either side. The next step is I want to fold down the center of my rectangle, like so. So I'm folding down the center of my rectangle. I'm pressing it down. So I now have three folds. I have one at this edge, one at this edge going in, and I have one going down the center like so. I'm now going to open this back up a little and lay it like this. Now what I want to do is do a triangular fold. Watch this. I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to bring it to the center line. Like that. And fold it down. Kind of like you're making an airplane, right? Like a paper airplane. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Like 
like so. I'm going to turn it over and do exactly the same thing on the other side. One fold here and one fold here. There we go. Now I'm going to have a shape something like this. Two triangular folds on either side and I still have my fold down the middle. The next step is to fold this edge to the center line. So I'm going to fold it to the center line like that. So I folded it to the center line. And I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. I'm gonna fold this edge to the center line like so. And you should end up with a package shape like this. And then all you do is fold it in half like that. Now you have the start of a flower. We're going to repeat this two more times. All right. So I have two folded just like we did the first one. And here is my last one. So again, fold both edges, the width of my little finger, up like so. Fold down the center. Two triangle folds to the center line at each edge. And each large edge to the center fold in the middle. All right. So now have three of these. You need three to complete your flower. The final step is this. I'm going to gather them all together with the folded sides facing up. So in other words, they open up towards the uh, um, top part. And I'm going to place them all together like this. And this is when the paper clip or the wire comes in. I'm gonna use a twist tie for this one. You can use a twist tie to hold them together like this. But we want to add a little detail. So I'm going to go into my bucking jar right here. And that's, ooh, that's satisfying to dump them out. Let me see. Maybe, should I do a gold one? What do you think? Thumbs up? I think so. All right. We're gonna choose a little gold button. And what I would do is simply loop my twist tie through the button. And then keeping the button on top, I'm gonna to put my twist tie on my flower. And as the name says, I'm going to twist, tie it closed, like so. Perfect. So I should have something like this, a button at the top, twist tie or wire or paper clip holding it, and then the petals like this. And then the final step is we just want to open up our petals like this to make it look like a beautiful flower. You can mount these on a branch. You can make a garland out of them with one hanging after the other. You honestly can create anything you want. You could even do a little <clears throat> Monet's pond by painting blue water and then gluing these on top. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> but whatever you do, have fun. Don't get frustrated. Enjoy the process. Origami takes practice and patience. So practice some mindfulness as you're doing your folding and enjoy. All right. And then check out the Google Classroom for more videos and lesson plans coming soon. All right. See you guys soon.